Hey guys, we are live. Let me switch the camera around. There you go. Just try not to get too much mess in there. Does it say anyone's there yet? Tea at the bottom! I'm just going to try the live thing and go from there. Hey, Jeremiah, come sit down, bud. What do you want to say hi? What do you want to say to everyone? Hi. No. No? You want to say hi to YouTube? Okay. Hey guys, we're back with a video. We're going to do a live video. This is the first time we're actually doing this. Uh, I was trying to work out my digital SLR. It wasn't working. My son Jeremiah here is to join us. We're going to open some cool stuff today, huh? I want to get in there. You, you wanna, yeah, you going to show us some speakers? Alright, he's being silly right now. Here. Alright, so we're going to show you some of the ones that we've already opened, but then we have about three big boxes that we haven't opened yet. Pretty exciting. We'll tell you about some of the things that we're going to be doing with these, some projects. But uh, I haven't seen these things yet either, so it's kind of exciting. All right, Jeremiah, let's show them this one first. This is, oh, this one's not open. I need a knife. I'll get a knife here in a second. Here is the Peerless Corundum. Can you say Corundum? That was very close. All right, and this is a, wow, what do you think of that tweeter? Whoa. Is that pretty? Yeah, it is. Wow, look how big it is. The thing I like about this? Yeah. Kid protection. <laughs> kid mean, protection! Kid protection, so you can't damage it as easily. Yeah. Uh, this is actually pretty neat. Now, a lot of people have asked about this uh, tweeter, and we're going to do it more in depth about it. But if you notice, this is the back. This is where you plug up the speaker wire to. So instead of like a normal like solder point or whatnot, you actually have these screw okay, terminals. Wait, 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 and they screw in and out. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah, you like that? Mm -hmm. All right. I got you too. What's up, you too? All right. All right, All right guys. Um, so that's the Peerless Corundum. Now, this tweeter is actually going to be paired with these two woofers. Now, these are the Esoterics. I have a five and a half here and a seven inch. Now, this is going to be part of a double sum build that we're going to be building pretty cool. All right, but now this is going to be pretty soon. It's going to be pretty neat, I think. They're going to be little bookshelf speakers, but I think they're going to be nice. Now, these speakers, well, I'm not going to lie to you, these are some of the nicest looking speakers I've seen. It actually makes me wish that we weren't putting them in a box. All right, Jeremiah, come show them this one, okay, bud? Oh, you got a hat? I like that hat. Here, why don't you show All right, show them like this. I don't need to see it because I don't know. You don't know? Got this nice woven uh, cone here, and uh, we're not gonna do that, buddy. All right, guys, and it's got this nice aluminum right here too. My son is a little bit overtired, so I think what we're gonna do is just go ahead and kind of let him take a nap right now, and I'm gonna be right back with the live stream in just one second. No, 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 no. Pause it. Can you pause it or? Hey, you gotta tell me these things when these people are talking about it. Okay, it's still going, girl. Hey guys, I hear you talking, man. Jason, good to hear from you. Uh, tri state area. What is the tri state area? I actually don't know what the tri state area is. You'll have to tell me what the tri state area is. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware. Is that tri state? That's what I always thought was the tri state. Wow, that's what my wife's calling the tri state. Is that what you guys call the tri state? I don't know. But I love I love these esoteric guys. These things are beautiful. I'm gonna see if my wife can get a nice little yep. view of those. You, can you see that like copper in there? In the middle? You think? No? Yeah. Yeah. And I love the look. And they actually protected the back too with that little foam in there. It's kind of cool. Uh, these are really neat. I actually really like these esoteric drivers. And and this is also just a very high quality cone. I can't really get those to scratch at all. Very very nice. Let Robbie me know if anyone's saying anything. Robbie okay. Hansen, Midwest. Robbie Hansen's in the house. Oh man, Robbie Hansen. For, hey, for any of you guys that were at Midwest Audio Fest last year, Robbie Hansen was with me. He was doing video with me. Robbie is actually the guy who got me into uh, audio in the first place. So huge shout out to Robbie Hansen, man. Thanks for that, Robbie. Robert Robert McConnell, West Coast, Washington State. Washington State. Dang, that's far away, man. Sorry, I'm on the other side of the country. Here, Jeremiah, you want to you show this one off? Okay. All right, help me hold it. Okay. Right. I can get that because I don't know because I don't know. You don't know? Hey, buddy, what do you think we're going to make with this? 
That's right, we're gonna make a big giant speaker. Actually, we're not gonna make a big giant speaker. I'm gonna design a box for double some. He's gonna make like a sealed version with this, and I'm gonna do a ported version with this. And that'll be really cool. Now we have the big boxes. That's what I wanna get to. I think you guys are gonna be really excited about that. Um, we'll get to that in just about 30 seconds. Let me go grab some of the boxes. We have somebody from Mexico. Mexico, dude, that's awesome. Thanks for joining, man. It's exciting Daddy, to see you. You done the new one. Mississippi. Mississippi, is that the state? I used to live on the Mississippi River uh, in Illinois and Iowa. Loved, loved the area. But the furthest south I've ever lived is Tennessee. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I love Tennessee. I, I just think it's got beautiful weather. Never really been to Mississippi though, I'd love to go. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing is really, really heavy and I lost my knife. So I'm gonna grab a different knife. Brazil. Brazil? Something. Yeah. Brazil's announced my wife has actually been to Brazil, believe it or not. She has been to Rio de Janeiro, which is probably, um, I guess, the most famous city in, in Brazil that I know of, at least. I have never been. I would love to go. But my wife and I were just, my wife and I were just at a Brazilian steakhouse. Hold on one second, guys. I'm sorry. Anybody? My wife and I were actually just at a Brazilian steakhouse, uh, what was it, just a few days ago, right? Sunday. Sunday, yeah. I'm not very good with dates, so she's a little bit better at telling me what we have and have not done. Guys, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually really excited about this. I have a pretty good idea what's in these. I don't completely know for sure, so it's quite possible that some of these things, I, I don't, you know, I'm not sure. All right, so these are Tang Band speakers. And these things, oh my gosh, these things are heavy. Can you see that? All right, I'm not gonna lie, these things are really heavy. I'm just gonna flip the box over. This is the trick I always do whenever speakers are really, really heavy. All right. Tang Man, now these ones are made in China. I love Tang Man speakers. You guys know I use the W5 in a lot of, a lot of builds. Let's see what these are. Let me give you guys a look at these. I think I know what they are. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's... Oh my. Alright. I'm laughing because that thing is heavy. Alright. This is unexpected weight. You guys, you guys are going to see me flexing all my muscles today. Now that is a speaker. That is an 8 inch tang band speaker. This is the W8 2096. That thing. Oh my goodness. Hold on one second. All right. All right. I want you to go pick that up, sir. Oh gosh. Yeah, go pick it up. Tell, tell me what you think about this. All right, guys, I want you to see how heavy this thing is. And my wife is probably not going to be happy about this. But <laughs> go ahead and try to pick it up. That's heavy. That's heavy. Is it not, not heavy? That's wow, ridiculous. That is the Tang Band W8 2096. Now you guys, the thing that's so cool, look at the rubber surround on there. That is a lot of surround. Now here's the deal. This is actually a mid range speaker. And you wouldn't think of it looking at it because when you look at it, it's an underhung design. So when you look at it, you look at this thing, you see this magnet and you think, well, that's a subwoofer for sure. It's not. We are actually gonna take two of these and build it into a tower speaker. That's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be tuned to somewhere between like 35 hertz or so. And this thing will be a true theater speaker. Now this thing has, if I'm not mistaken, eight and a half millimeters of X-Max somewhere around there. That's as much as a lot of eight inch subwoofers. I mean, it's just unreal. So think about that when we're done, we're basically gonna have four eight inch subwoofers inside two power speakers that you can use for home theater. Oh man, that's going to be exciting. You know what I love about going live, you guys, is that it is completely unadulterated. So you get my whole family in it. You get my son, you get my wife, you get everyone. Normally my wife would be edited out of the videos because she'd be saying, I don't want to be in the video. And my son, who I love, 
<laughs> doesn't always want to be in the videos either. So, you know, you guys get the full unedited experience tonight. I think you guys have to let me know if you like this uh, live thing. This is the first time I've ever done it. All right, here's the deal. This is another Tang Van. So there's two. And if I'm not mistaken, I should have four of these. And by the weight of it, that's what this other box is. Let's just double check and make sure. Double check. You want to double check with me, bud? Yeah, baby. We should be able to tell just by the weight. And it's pretty darn heavy. And hey, what did I do with my knife? Do you remember what I... It's over there, right here. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Yep. Now, big one is pretty heavy for you. That's really heavy for me? Yeah. It is really heavy for me, you're right. Yeah, it's really big and really strong. It's really big and really strong? Yeah. You mean I'm really strong? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I can lift up this huge weight, right? Yeah, that's your own. Keep cereal. Hello, family. Hello, true voice of reason. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Hey, true voice of reason, man. He's been a supporter for a really long time. It's great to see you out here, man. Uh, I really love hearing your comments. He comments all, all the time on videos, so it's good to hear from him. What do you think about that, Jeremiah? It's heavy, huh? All right. All right, get off, because you're even heavier. So, well, you're not heavier than the speakers, but you you make these even heavier. Just make sure. That's what these are. Yep, that's exactly what those are. W8-2096 says on the box. So that's four of those. So you guys can only imagine what a tower speaker is going to be like with these things in it. It's going to be unreal. It was kind of funny because I was talking to one of my um, patrons about uh, this build. He was asking me kind of what was going on behind the scenes. And I, I told him we were going to be planning to do a build like this a while ago. And he said to me, he said, <laughs> he said, well, isn't that kind of an expensive build? Because you, you take a look at these. These are about like, I think around $120 each. So you're looking, you know, about... $300 per speaker, maybe. Um, and then if you had a tweeter, like maybe the POS Corundum, which might be what I use. I'm not sure what, what tweeter I'm going to use yet. But once you add a tweeter in there, you're looking at, you know, about $300 for each speaker. It's about 600 bucks. But guys, I, I can't think of a theater speaker that can take the amount of wattage one. I mean, you, you saw this thing. It's, it's massive. That can take that amount of power and put that much output out. So I don't think it's expensive at all. In fact, my, some of my first speakers were like Klipsch F3 Synergy speakers, some of my first nice speakers, I should say. And um, there's no way that they could compete with what we're gonna build here. And they were, I don't know, like thousand dollars a pair, I think. So, you know, when I think of that, I think, nah, that's, that's just not gonna be the case. So for me, I think these are going to be excellent value speakers. For anyone that wants to build like a home theater speaker, I think these are going to be really neat. Look at this tiny one. Oh, cool. That is, you know, that's a little tweeter. That's an ND20FB-4. Yeah. Pretty crazy cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's surprising Daddy knows that, huh? Yeah. I know. This is really big and really short and really big. All right. Uh, we used to have... A Dayton Audio. Oh, shoot. What are these? Okay, so there's two of these. I don't know what these are yet. These, I don't know what they are, so let's see what they are. These are also heavy. Hey, Jeremiah. Hey, buddy. Can you get, you're not supposed to be on the counter. You know that. Here, sit back here. Nice. Good job. All right. So I don't know what these are. You don't know either? They say the W61721. Oh, shoot. You know what this is? Oh, my goodness. This is also really heavy. I don't know if you can tell just by like me flexing how heavy these are, but these are heavy. This is the 6-inch version of that 8-inch. So I'm guessing you probably have an idea. Oh, my goodness. Look at, look at the beauty of that thing. Look at that magnet. That thing is like... It is a vented pole, so you're gonna have to, you know, make sure that that's free. But jeez, that thing is massive. And that surround, once again, I mean, it's just like a woofer. I mean, it's unreal. We're gonna turn these, we've got two of these, so one and two. We're gonna turn these into rear surrounds for this. Um, 
And that's going to be pretty darn amazing. So when you're, when we're done with this, you'll be able to build your whole, whole surround sound. And I can't imagine for the price that we're going to be doing this, a system that will be able to compete with it commercially. There might be something, I don't know, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. So that'll be very, very exciting. I hope you guys are excited about this build as much as I am. These Tang Van speakers are really cool. That, and I don't know if you guys know much about Tang Van, but Tang Van is known for bass. You know, that W5, they're fantastic. And also their 4 inch speakers are actually really good. In fact, I'm going to do a video on the Tang Van speakers coming out very shortly, actually. And some of these you might see in that video. True voice of reason. The 8 inch is only 84 decibels. Uh, the sensitivity, is that right? Is that what you're talking about? 84 dB, is that decibels? Yeah, I mean, I'm asking voice of reason. Are you, are you saying it's only 80 uh, sensitivity? I'm not sure. It, is that right? I thought it was yes. 88. The 2096 is 84. I thought it was 88. Let's see. Where's my phone at? Oh, you're using my phone. I'm going to use your phone, okay? That's fine. You might be right, voice of reason. I was thinking it was 88. It takes a lot of wattage, um, so it's not going to be very... You're right, it's not going to be... Like a 90 he says decibel. wrong one. The one he was looking at was the wrong one? Or the one I'm looking at. Um, it's a W8-2096. Let's look it up. I, I, I was going off memory off, off thinking it's like 88, but um, it's my memory, right? You know, who knows? You could absolutely be correct, 84. The underhung 8-inch. He was stuff. looking at the 740. Oh, you were looking at 740? Uh, yeah, it's 88 decibels uh, sensitivity. So when we add two of the, and this is what, uh, this is eight, eight, or this is four ohms. So that'll make the tower an eight ohm tower. So we're looking at that. You're looking at uh, a sensitivity of about, you know, 91 watts. It'll probably still be around 88 watts since we're going to be moving it up to, to eight ohm, but it'll, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, if you're going to be making a, a tower speaker like that, it should, it should be, Easily handled by something like the DIY. Um, you said that's plane. better, yeah. Yeah, 88 is much, much better. 84 is more like subwoofer range. I'd actually be disappointed if it's 84. All right, there's only one more box. Now this box, this box is, this is box more, is more your size, Sarah. This is, uh, this is much lighter. You would be much happier with that. Jeremiah, which speaker do you like the best so far? All of these. All of them? Wow. He gets very excited. He, he's kind of like me. I get excited about a lot of things too. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, I know exactly what this is. Yes. Oh my gosh. Big surprise. There it is. All right. There's more. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And subwoofer. All right, let's kind of show you what these are. Wow, it's so light picking up the subwoofer after these. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is like four times the weight of this. This thing like weighs like nothing. Let me show you these first. All right, these are little full range drivers. Parts Express sells, they're kind of neat. I am, uh, I never actually uh, used these before, but I thought they would make a really neat driver. They're very small. And just like Tang Van, they, they just make things really well, I, I feel like, as far as the quality goes. Kind of cool looking, too. So, I have a plan for these, and you guys might laugh at me for this, but you know what? I always feel like if you're going to build a speaker, just build something that you, you think would be cool. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. So let me show you the subwoofer, too, and then I'll, then I'll explain to you what I, what I plan to do with these. Got some water, bud? Um, isn't your water in the other the other room? Mm, it? Oh, it's not. I just drank it all. Oh, you drank it all? Okay, we'll get you water in, in a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. We're almost done. All right, so here's the... Ooh, these are so small. Like my, they're all like my size. They are like your size. You're right. <laughs> Maybe we'll make you something with it. True voice of reason. I was looking at those. Wonder how they'll work out. Yeah, well, let me tell you what I'm going to do with them, True Voice Reason. So, before I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this. This is the W5. This is not the 1138 SMF. This is the Neo version. 
So this is the 1138SM, so it's got the Neo Mag on there. It's actually much, much lighter. So I think this would actually be really good in like a portable unit. It, the only problem is the Neo Magnet does use a little bit bigger of a, an enclosure to get to the same response. Actually, it's a little less response. But the one good thing I like about this is the SMF doesn't have any type of gasket tape, uh, gasket tape on it, and this one does. Uh, so that's actually surprising. I didn't know that. So that's kind of nice that it has that gasket tape. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this subwoofer. I'm going to take my son and push him aside for a second. <laughs> I'm going to take this subwoofer. And I'm going to take all 10 of these. And I'm going to make a 7.1 channel sound bar. So it'll either be a 5.2.2 like Atmos sound bar or a 7.2, you know, with a 1, you know, 7.1, 7 I'm sorry. Uh, sound bar. Can you please get down for a second? Thank you very much. Stay seated for a little bit. Thank you. And so that's what my, my goal is. You know, you're probably saying... You okay? Alright. <laughs> you're silly. Um, so you're probably wondering like how I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't want to get rid of a lost spoiler, but I'll just explain to you guys that are live with me. <sighs> the problem with making a 7.1 or 5.2 is you can't really put the amplification in there because you have to you have to process that right so you have to put the speakers designed in, in the right in the enclosure for them to be able to bounce off the room correctly and really to be able to do that you need room equalization and so we're gonna have to use a receiver or something to do that so, I don't know, what do you guys think about that that whole sound bar idea? You guys like it? You hate it? You like? Oh, a thumbs up. That's what I like to hear. Who's that? A, Me. You gave a thumbs up. Oh, only my wife gave a thumbs up. All right. Did I get a thumbs down from someone, too? Oh. Thumbs up. Five. Okay, thanks, guys. At least, at least one. Besides Six. One. There we go. Oh, there we go. Thanks, guys. True voice of reason. He said cool. Jeremiah, please be quiet, buddy. Thank you very much. My son is very excited. This is normally the time he went to, goes to sleep, but he really wanted to be in a video, so I said he could today. Um, maybe when he gets older, he'll be part of the, the channel completely uh, as full-time. Uh, but I've come to the conclusion that this may not be the best idea this late at night for him. So uh, I do love him. Hey, Jeremiah, come here, bud. Come say goodbye to everyone. We're going to go. We're going to say goodbye. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube, so we get all the speakers. Goodbye. Oh, you, you said bye because we got all the speakers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, guys, um, that's all that we have for today. If you guys have any questions or anything, keep commenting on this video. I'm going to go ahead and monitor that. Uh, that way we can kind of talk about that. If you have any questions about the speakers, especially any of the speakers that we have, the, the six-inch Tang Band, they're the W61721s. And yeah, I'm glad Voice of Reason you were looking at these Tang Man speakers too, because I was interested in these as well. I don't know how good they're going to be, but I'm pretty excited to give them a shot. All right, guys, we will see you later. Have a great day. Bye. Did you stop it? Mm -hmm. You don't know. We don't know how to stop.